Hello and welcome to Mark on Mondays here at A Link to the Cast. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> this is not a Day of the Tentacle that has been delayed again by another week because I wanted to take a look at Disc Jam Beta. Um, now this is kind of cheating in a way because Dave has already looked at this game and um, our production schedule is haphazard at the best of times. Um, but I, I wanted to look at this, uh, see, because Dave, as far as I'm aware, has never actually physically played Windjammers. He's very excited about the new Windjammers uh, game coming out later this year, I believe. Um, but he's never actually played it. Where I have at work two uh, arcade cabinets that have over 600 games on them and uh, within both of those arcade cabinets exist Windjammers. So I have played the, I don't know if you want to really call it the original, it's basically just a ROM file, but I have played it and so, and I really like it. So I want to have a look at this and see how it kind of fares. So first of all, I guess I can maybe change, oh boy, he's a big lad. I think I'll just stick with this guy. Uh, oh, no. All arm lockables. Hey, you know what? I'll just stick with you as you are at the moment. Let's have a look at the basic training. Welcome to Disc Jam. This tutorial will walk you through the basics step by step. Okay. Navigating the core. Use left, right, down, no, le up, left, down, right. Now run into the glowing circles to continue. Alright, easy enough. Press square to slide. Keep the button held down to slide farther. Slide from one glowing circle to the other to continue. Alright, that feels pretty good. Now one of the big changes or big differences straight away that you can see from the original Windjammers if you played it is that is a uh, side view uh, kind of thing like like Pong if you will where this controls in the more typical uh, tennis games that you might see like virtual tennis or whatever uh, use left up right and X for a disc into each of the highlight zones to continue Alright, that's easy enough. Now I'm going to presume that depending on where I hold, uh, the stick will kind of give me more of an angle. But how do I... Hmm. Need to get more curved to try and actually get it. Can I curve? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Yes, that does work. Excellent. Oh, that feels that feels really good. That's cool. I like that. Haven't quite got the uh, aim down though. Okay, we're good. Excellent. Only took nine tries. Uh, throw quickly. The sooner you throw the disc, the faster it goes. It, you can only hold the disc for a second before you're forced to ditch it. Throw the disc with perfect time in Pink Child to continue. Like so. It feels a little bit more rigid than Windjammers. Um, now, there's obviously as well the uh, peripheral vision of the uh, or the perspective of the disc coming towards you, where with wind jammers you've got the side view, so you can see the disc exactly, you know, as it's coming towards you. There is marginal difference here in terms of perspective, but there is still a bit of a difference. Uh, aim with left and right, and press L2 and R2 to throw a quick curve. Curve the disc through both highlight zones to continue. Oh, okay, that's cool. Pretty 
press the lob. Okay, so it, it follows pretty much the same control scheme as uh, as Windjammers, so that's that's good. Oh, yeah, you definitely only have that second. Okay, but how? Okay, great. Oh, that's easy enough. Cool. So I should, in theory, be able to get, if I aim correctly, these other three with relative ease. Nope. Maybe not. More. Wonderful. Okay, try the advanced tutorial to dive a little deeper. Shall I? Yes, I guess I should. Uh, is this an always online game? Probably. All games are these days. Okay, so I'll have a quick look at the advanced tutorial. Run into the landing point of a falling disc to charge it. Ah, super throws. Okay. So this is the thing that, you know, really sets wind jammers apart. But um, you have to kind of figure out how to do it. It's all on timing. So run into a landing point. Charge a super throw when fully charge. Huh. What am I doing wrong here? Do I slide? Nope, that's definitely not it. What the hell? What is going on there? Alright. Okay, I'm running into the falling disc. Please indulge me in what I'm doing wrong here. Someone. Oh, wait. I think... I think I get it. Is that... Yep, there we go. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's not so much timing. Turn to super for the instant you catch it to form a super return. Okay. Oh god. Boy, it does ask you to be pretty particular about when you grab it. and you catch it. Okay, well that's definitely not it. Okay. Feels like you need to press the button like a second before you actually grab it. Well, I definitely pressed it right that time. Come on, game. Be nice. It's like, it is, it feels like literal milliseconds to get that right. That's going to take some getting used to. Hold X to the charge your shield and deflect the disc into the air. That's cool. Okay, that's, that's a new feature. I like that. Oh, wow. You can turn into a super throw. That's really cool. That is going to get abused to hell. Hold X when close to the net to promise stuff block with the deflection shield. Stay close to the net. Okay. 
So they've added a few extra gimmicks compared to Wind Jammers, which they do need to. It can't just be like a literal 3D represent or uh, version of Wind Jammers. Perform skill curves by quickly rotating your aim off. Whoa! Nope. <laughs> I am doing exactly what you have on the directions there. Getting closer. Getting farther away. Not getting anywhere at all. Hmm. This bit's proving a little bit tricky. I can get the direction, but I can't get the, the curve. Do I need to go all the way round, maybe? Well, no. No, it would seem not. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't need to worry about the curves. I'll be fine. Okay, uh, can I do a private match against a computer? No. No, I cannot. So I guess we're going to have to play against someone else in the world. Let's see if there's anyone about. Alright, let's uh, let's have a go at this. I win. That's it. Game over. Now I wonder, um, do they have... Uh, matchmaking. Oh, slide. There we go. I wonder if they have matchmaking set up. Oh, nice. Um, so it'll take into account if, how many games you've played and try and, you know, match you up against similar... Oh, shit. Similar uh, kind of match opponents in terms of games one and whatnot. Oh, cock. <laughs> oh, I was doing so well. What is it first two? I haven't actually had that bit kind of... Oh, Jesus. I haven't had that fit bit kind of uh, explained to me. Oh, that was good. That was not so good. Oh, <laughs> I was going to try and shunt it over the line. Okay, first to 50. Is that what it is? Ah.
Okay, I you know I'm well on board with this. Uh, this this feels pretty good to play. Um, it it retains that kind of reactionary ability that's needed, which is good. Uh, the ping feels solid. Um, obviously, depending on who you play against, that's going to make a bit of a difference. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, man. I haven't got as many super shots as I'd like to have done. Oh, Jesus. Can I make a startling comeback? Oh, well done. Well done, player. Well, that's disappointing. But it was my first, first game, so, you know, you're not going to win them all. I'll happily rematch if he wants to rematch. Ah, oh, <laughs> that curve. Damn it. I need to read that better. I can definitely see myself and David playing some uh, some of this at some point. Oh! Although I'm curious, like, does this have local multiplayer, and how would that work? Hmm. There's a question. Nope. Oh my word. This is getting tense. <laughs> Have it. That might be my greatest uh, gaming moment of the year. Okay, I've won a set. I'm happy enough, I'd won a set. Ah! Okay, still can't get these super shots in. Still, something is missing here. Good, good work there. Well done, sir. Come on. Really, what I wanted to do, but whatever. Oh, that's better. Juice lost. That'll do. Come on, I've got this. My running commentary in this game has now just descended it into nonsense. It's the problem with games like this.
Good catch. Come on. Yes. Best of three. Do you want to go best of three? Surely I want to go best of three. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> Should have probably slid, slid for that. I would love to read whatever comment I have right now, but uh, this is not really the game for that. So I will read in a minute. Oh boy, that is annoying because you can use square to lob, but that is also the slide button as well. And maybe slide should have been another button, or maybe the lob should have been another button. I don't know. Um, like I feel they obviously wanted to try and emulate wind jams as much as they can into control scheme and control uh, scheme, and I don't necessarily disagree with that. Um, Again, it's probably just I need to get used to it. So I'm not going to complain about that too much. Still can't get the power shots in, but I'm winning, so that's not too bad. Uh, it was Dave who uh, has commented saying they fixed issues with streaming this. Uh, I will get Dave to explain to me after what the issues were. Uh, again, I know he did stream this the other day. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch any of it. But uh, I'm sure he'll be more than happy to join me for a game of this at some point. Ah! It's just not... I'm going to probably do a bit more training after this to try and really uh, hammer in how to do uh, the, the power shots, because it's just not happening at the moment. Darn. Oh, I thought I had that. This soundtrack sounds like it should have been used on a WWE pay-per-view in the mid-2000s. Maybe POD or something. Or Saliva. It's just not coming. It's not coming together. Ah, oh, I thought I had that. Oh, so the frame rate was appalling and the uh, mic video completely cut out. Well, that's not good. Uh, I'm glad to hear that apparently this is better. And I've won! Brilliant. Well, that's good. I've won a few games. I'm going to leave this now. Um, was there the option to do doubles? Because if so, I think I might have a quick game of doubles. Uh, fine match. Yes. Oh, so the frame rate just in the stream. So, well, that's unfortunate for the stream, but as long as um, the in-game is still playable, that's that's good. The host has left the hobby. That's great. Should try that again. So, yeah, in my short time with this game so far um not really any complaints um i think you'll probably get a mixed bag of people within the kind of hardcore wind jammer scene because you know once you've played something like that for so long it's hard to go to anything else that tries to emulate or replicate the feeling of the original the gameplay of the original um 
but I think for what this game is trying to do, I'm I'm on board with it. Uh, the beta is available. You can go to uh, the developer. So the developer is High Horse Games. You can go to their website and you can sign up to get uh, the beta. This is on the PS4. Um, so if you are in any way interested in this, then definitely go and sign up for it because the, the beta is free to play. I don't know how long it's on for. Anytime today. All right, let's change this up a bit. Uh, wow, I've got quite a few options there. We'll raise the ping a bit and see if that works. Hmm. It's not going so well. Let's try let's try America. See if they got anything for us. I'll try the East Coast. No, nothing. Never mind. Well, we'll leave it there. Uh, I'm happy to report this is actually pretty good. Uh, you can continue to watch more of our fine content. Link to the cast. Uh, this is Mark for Mark on Mondays. We'll be talking about Tetris this week, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, we will see you again next time.